All right, so today we're going to be representing linear relationships using a table. Um, in a linear relationship, you uh, a linear relationship is between two quantities as one quantity changes by a constant amount, the other quantity also changes by a constant amount. Uh, proportional relationships are, all, are a special kind of linear relationship, and so that's what we're going to show you. So example one, a man's shoe size is approximately three times his foot length in inches minus 22. Use the table to represent the relationship between foot length and a shoe size. So when we create an equation, we follow the format y is equal to mx plus b. Okay. Um, we created equations before we just never set it equal to a y. The m... Is your, is your constant rate of change, which is constantly being multiplied, and B is your starting point. So we're constantly being multiplied by 3, so it'll be 3x, and then it says minus 22. So instead of adding 22, you're going to do minus 22, and that's your equation. So then all you have to do is create a table. I personally like creating my table like this, and I get to choose what x needs to be. So x would be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, so when x is 0, you plug it in. So you do 3 times 0 minus 22, which is just minus 22. Then you do the 1. So you do y is equal to 3 times 1 minus 22, which is a negative 19. And you do it, you continue on. But you can see from this point on, it's changing by 3 because that's what our constant is. So if I add 3 this time, this would be negative 16, um, negative 13, and then negative 10, and so on. That's all we're doing. So now you try one. Leah's house is 350 meters from her friend's house. Leah walks to her friend's house at a constant rate of 50 meters per minute. Use a table to represent the relation between time and distance Leah has left to walk to her friend's house. So x is time. And y is distance. I'm actually going to show you a little diagram. So this is Leah's friend's house. Oops. And this is Leah's house. In between here is 350 meters. Okay, that's their distance. That's their starting point. So when time, when x is 0, the distance is 350. So when she walks this way one minute, she goes, she, uh, it decreases by 50 meters. So in one minute, it would be 300 feet, 100 meters left. So my equation would be y is equal to negative 50x plus 350 because every time she walks a minute, she takes away 50 meters. So at two minutes, it would be 250 uh, meters left. At 3, it would be 300 meters left. And at 4, it would be um, 150 meters left. And so on. And it would take her about 7 min minutes to walk to her friend's house. All right. Example 2. Lewis will participate in a walkathon for charity. He received a pledge from his aunt, and the table shows the relationship between his miles walked by Lewis and the amount of, uh, that his aunt pledged. And I'm actually going to write this table over here. So X is the miles, and Y is the amount pledged. Um, so it would be 1, 2, 3. So at 1, it's $31.50, and at 2, it's 33, and at 3, it's 34.50. So I got to figure out how much changed. Well, change here is 1, and change here is $1.50. So it's like what we did yesterday. So it would be $1.50 over 1, which is just $1.50. So my equation would be y is equal to 1.5x plus my starting point. Well, the only way I can find my starting point is when x is 0. I know when x is 1, but I need to figure out when x is 0. So I'm going to put a 0 here. So it means I need to, I went down 1. So if I go up 1, I add $1.50. So if I go down 1, I should, should subtract $1.50. So this will become $30. So it means before I even started the race, 
I had $30. So this would be 30. So my equation would be 1.5x plus 30. All right. Um, we're going to skip this and we'll go on to your Gaia practice. At the very bottom, you can cross off steps two and three. Don't worry about those. Instead, write the equation using the form y is equal to mx plus b. And that'll be your homework for right now. Thank you, guys.